Experts have succeeded in detecting around 5,000 exoplanets in more than 3,700 different systems. Unfortunately, however, the experts have not yet been able to identify a habitable celestial body or even a cosmic image of the Earth. In order to uncover more and more planetary secrets of the cosmos, scientists sometimes let their research eyes wander into the most remote areas of our galactic environment. For example, we know that the Sweep S exoplanets follow their orbits at a distance of about 22,000 light years. In light of this exciting discovery, however, we should not forget that many an alien world is practically right on our earthly doorstep. This includes Proxima Centauri b, in particular, why the exoplanet has been in the headlines again and again since its discovery, and which circumstances indicate that it could even be habitable, will reveal to you in today's video. Excited about groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these gripping topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Galactic Neighbors When it comes to the question of our closest cosmic neighbor, there is no way around Proxima Centauri. The celestial body is located just 4.247 light-years from the Sun. No other known star comes so close to our central star. How the galactic neighborhood is reflected in the gigantic dimensions of the cosmos becomes clear to us if we take a closer look at the corresponding distance. As is well known, the length of the light-year defines the distance that light travels within one year, namely 5.88 trillion miles. The distance between the Sun and Proxima Centauri is therefore almost 25 trillion miles. With the technical means of the near future, it would take 6,300 years for a spaceship to reach our star neighbor. Those hoping to admire the glistening celestial body from a distance will be disappointed. Due to its position in the constellation Centaur in the southern sky, Proxima Centauri cannot be observed from Europe. Discovered only in 1915 because of its low brightness, we know that Proxima Centauri is not alone on its journey through space. Together with the double star Alpha Centauri, the celestial body forms a hierarchical triple star association. But that's not all. In August 2016, experts announced that Proxima Centauri was orbited by an exoplanet. In the following years, two more entries could be added to the squad of planetary stellar companions. At this point, however, we would like to focus our attention on the exoplanet that was first detected in the vicinity of the nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri b. The exoplanet closest to Earth Given the gigantic distances that prevail in space, it's not always easy for experts to fully study a newly discovered exoplanet. Fortunately, this distance problem does not arise in the case of Proxima Centauri b. In fact, this alien world is only 4.2 light-years from our terrestrial home. No other known exoplanet comes closer to Earth on its journey through space. The decoding of Proxima Centauri b also holds great potential for knowledge that could possibly be extended to the other constellations of the cosmos. For example, the central star Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf of the spectral class M. It has a fraction of 70 to 80%. With a share of 70 to 80 percent, such main sequence stars embody the most frequent star form in the Milky Way. Even before the official discovery of the exoplanet, Finnish astronomer Miko Tomi came across some anomalies in archived observational data. After the first hints for the existence of the celestial body had been found, it was necessary to confirm the presence of Proxima Centauri b in the context of detailed investigations. For this reason, the European Southern Observatory launched the Pale Red Dot project. Interesting to know, this naming was an allusion to Pale Blue Dot, that is, to that world-famous Voyager 1 image showing our Earth from a distance of about 3.5 billion miles. In the end, the scientists' efforts were crowned with success. Proxima Centauri b was added to the star charts using the radial velocity method. 
To understand the background of this indirect detection method, we should remember that stars and planets move around a common center of gravity under the influence of gravity. Since the host star always has a larger mass than its planetary companion, it consequently travels significantly smaller distances. And yet massive exoplanets in particular have a measurable effect on the motion of their central stars. As a result of this slight variation in radial velocity, the presence of one or more massive stars can thus be detected. Amazing Properties After the exciting discovery of Proxima Centauri b, experts initially assumed that the exoplanet had an intrinsic mass of at least 1.27 Earth masses. However, information later provided by the Espresso spectrograph on the Very Large Telescope caused this value to be revised downward somewhat. As a result, the mass of Proxima Centauri b exceeds that of our Earth by a factor of 1.17 which very likely places the celestial body among the Earth-like exoplanets. Despite this, it appears that our terrestrial home and its nearest planetary neighbor differ significantly in some fundamental aspects. Currently, experts assume that the exoplanet has a bound rotation. This means that it always presents one in the same side to its parent star, just as our Earth's moon does. If the assumption of the scientists corresponds to reality, then a region of the planet would be incessantly illuminated by the light of the central star. Consequently, it would be much warmer on the day side than on the opposite night side. Although the host star Proxima Centauri is much smaller than our sun, it should be noted that the distance between the exoplanet and its central star is much smaller than the distance between the sun and the Earth. In detail, the distance is given as 0.0485 astronomical units. Again briefly, an astronomical unit corresponds to the approximate average distance between Sun and Earth, thus just over 90 million miles. While our blue home planet takes 365 days to complete its orbit around the Sun, Proxima Centauri b accomplishes this task in less than 12 days. That the exoplanet therefore embodies something like a cosmic furnace is, however, considered unlikely. Taking into account the luminosity of the star, the mean distance and its presumed albedo of zero, the researchers concluded that the equilibrium temperature settles at a value of minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the same is true here. This estimate is anything but set in stone. If Proxima Centauri b has an atmosphere, its surface temperature would be much higher as a result of the greenhouse effect. In fact, a simulation whose results were published in spring 2017 painted a remarkable picture. Depending on atmospheric composition and orbital parameters, it's possible that Proxima Centauri b harbors water in a permanently liquid form. This conjecture is particularly exciting because liquid water is commonly considered an elemental prerequisite for the evolution of Earth-like life. Consequently, the exoplanet is counted among the top candidates when it comes to the question of potentially habitable celestial bodies. Therefore, let's take a look at the other known exoplanets that could pave the way for the unfolding of extraterrestrial life. Habitable Worlds The potential habitability of a planet is indicated by the Earth Similarity Index, or ESI for short. Since our terrestrial home is the prime example of a life-friendly celestial body, its value on the corresponding scale is 1. Consequently, all extrasolar worlds must be compared to this number Proxima Centauri b achieves an ESI of 0.87 and ranks fifth on the list of potentially habitable planets. With a value of 0.95, T Garden b advances to the current top spot. Its namesake host star, a red dwarf in the constellation Aries, is located about 12.5 light years from the Sun. During the multi year investigation, it became apparent that the central star is orbited by two planets about the size of Earth. Both exoplanets are located with the habitable zone of their system. Since the red dwarf, which weighs 0.08 solar masses, is considered to be comparatively quiet due to its great age of more than 8 billion years, its planetary companions are basically considered to be life-friendly. With an ESI value of 0.93, TOI 700d finds itself in second place. About 593.7 trillion miles away from us, the exoplanet is about 20% larger than our terrestrial home. 
the celestial body takes 37 days to orbit its ancestral red dwarf. With an ESI of 0.92, the last place on the podium of potentially life-friendly worlds goes to Kepler 1649c. In terms of its characteristics, the celestial body in the constellation of Swan appears very similar to our blue home planet. It has a solid surface and a radius 1.06 times larger than that of our Earth. However, very little is known about the planet's climate. In principle, however, experts assume that the prevailing temperatures can be compared with those on Earth. The atmospheric composition, however, is still an unsolved mystery. Last but not least, we would like to take a brief look at TRAPPIST-1d. The celestial body in the constellation Aquarius has an ESI value of 0.91 and is part of a seven-member planetary system. In contrast to the exoplanets presented so far, TRAPPIST-1d lies just outside the habitable zone. Within the framework of model calculations, experts came to the conclusion that the planet underwent a galloping, or in other words, an unstoppable and self-reinforcing greenhouse effect. This means that its original oceans have now evaporated. However, it's possible that a small amount of water managed to defy this development. Now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about Proxima Centauri b and the other potentially habitable worlds? As always, write us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.